The morning of the wedding, I was actually very excited, but kind of mellow, chill. I had my candles lit, my meditation music, my gospel music, and my girls were there, so we got a little rah-rah too. Uh, <laughs> but I was very chill, super excited though. To be honest, I felt very at ease. I never got nervous at all, not one bit. Um, I was just joyous, really. Really, I was happy for all my family, the whole tribe, had assembled from all over, all different lands, all across the countries, all across this country. It was just a joyous moment. I really, I really didn't, I wasn't nervous. I was just more excited to get married to the love of my life. such a surreal moment. I finally reached um, the end um, to be able to put on this gorgeous, gorgeous dress and just to know that I'm about to be with my dad. He's gonna walk me down the aisle. Um, I dreamt of that moment um, since I was a little girl and it was happening finally. Um, so I was super excited and just tried to take a moment to take it all in because the day of, I heard everyone telling me, oh girl, it's gonna go by so fast, this is gonna happen, it's gonna be like just super quick. So I had to breathe and just take it all in. And it was so awesome. Of course I had the girls with me, had my daughter Maddie and my stepdaughter Gigi and um, they walked out and as soon as they walked out I had a surprise guest my son Mason uh, my best friend Daryl brought him in and uh, just to see him suited up being able to just give you know give him a hug have that moment with him was everything it was truly priceless so the day was about to be even more magical Besides, you know, just me and her making it official that moment, having all, our whole family up there, you know, just having there, that was just a powerful moment. And just having the people, just showing that imagery, just just the whole thing. It, that was that was, I feel that was a very powerful moment. My people, my people, my people, yes, 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 love y'all too, baby, love you. you know, I, could, I could see her like in the back, like getting ready, like just like tossing around. And I got like tunnel vision once I saw it. So I'm walking down the aisle and it's just literally like a fairy tale come true. Um, and I see my man <laughs> and I see Heath looking so, so handsome, so debonair. And I'm thinking, okay, is he gonna break down? <laughs> because I'm gonna break down. And when she came around the corner, I remember just like, I, cause I envisioned how she was uh, looking at us, you know, all our family and friends lined up like that. And I'm just like that. I just like, what? It's here, it's happening. Finally able to see her dress for the first time. I really wasn't focused. I was just looking at her in the eyes, to be honest. Just laser focus. He kept it together, and so did I. And it was amazing just to see him standing up there, so proud, and just, I could see the excitement in his face. You may be seated.
<laughs> Dear Heath, um, I am so happy and elated to be your wife. You're my best friend, and I am looking forward to just endless mornings, days, nights with you, and just having what our parents have and perfecting it, um, our everlasting love and our beautiful family. Love you. Heath and Moneta have lit the unity candle, symbolizing that each met each other as an individual, but have, have extinguished those individual um, lives in order to be one. And so we thank God for that. Heath and Moneta, to make your relationship work, it will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you're here today. But not only will it take love, it will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what's best for each other. But it will also take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. But it will also take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. It will also take, though, commitment to hold true to the journey you both have placed today. So by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel, in alignment with the laws of the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> and just honestly, um, during the actual ceremony, having our children up there, our parents, both parents being there, it's just, we're so blessed, blessed beyond. And you could not remake that moment couldn't have been better just to have all of our loved ones there it was magical and I'm truly grateful for it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, all who are gathered, it is my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Heath Carter. I'm looking forward just just more create more moments between me and her and our and our family. Um, you know we always we always joke like oh you know we we fall in love we fall in love over and over again with each other and it's crazy we're like mm, I didn't know it could sustain I didn't know it could get better so I just I look forward to just keep vibrating higher and amplifying what we got going. We are here to represent one family. The name is the Carters. I'm going to say it one more time. We are here to represent one thing. So what we're going to do, when I play these records, I need y'all to make some noise, show these people a lot of love. One more time, let's go. On God's Green Earth for the very first time, it's the Carters. Mr. and Mrs. Heath. Yeah, yeah, this is our year. Knock us down once, we got up again. Put it in 
the work, so I know we gon' win. This is for real, we never pretend. We gotta win, 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 win. Yeah. I had to stop being base. Part of my dreams had to chase. You counted me out, I counted me in. Fell off a foe, but never again. They boxing me out, I never fit in. Never will fold, never could bend. Just wanna win, 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 win.